Hey everyone, First Order here and welcome back to another Star Wars video. Now, the Episode 9 trailer probably just dropped, and if you're watching this, you're probably expecting Episode 9 content, but I'm at college currently and I cannot make a video regarding Episode 9 till either later tonight or tomorrow, depending on how busy I am. Now, I found this leak a couple days ago, but I didn't think it was true, considering some certain things he lists in the leak, like, for example, the guy goes into detail saying, cool enemies teased. Like, that sounds really fake. The person who posted this on Reddit said that he was on a private forum with one of the developers of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and that the developer was teasing certain things about the game. Now, the account got deleted, and the person who made this post said, screw it, and just decided to remember everything this guy said and post a leak about it. Now, certain things are a little fuzzy. Like, for example, you know, cool enemies teased. Like, you can't go into detail because the developer deleted his post. But... There is something in the list of leaks that proved this person to be correct when yesterday the poster was leaked, which I'll get into soon. Anyway, let's get started. The first thing he says is that Jedi Fallen Order will be canon. Obviously, all Star Wars content released after Disney owned it is canon. He also says that the basic story of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order has already been leaked onto the internet. Now, I haven't been following Jedi Fallen Order that much, so I don't know what leak he's referring to, but apparently the basic story is out there on the internet. And he also lists that the story is going to be much better than the Battlefront 2 one, which, thank God, that campaign felt extremely rushed along with the story and the writing was god-awful. Anyway, here's the thing he talks about that was confirmed with the poster. He lists a backpack companion droid. Now, if you look at the Jedi Fallen Order poster, there is a droid that is extremely small, similar to the Iden Versio's in size droid. So, after reading this and looking at the leaked trailer, I'd say this guy has earned my trust. <laughs> the next thing he lists, the gameplay will be compared to Dark Souls, and it will make you feel like a Jedi. So think about Dark Souls, Force Unleashed, and Jedi Knight Academy kind of mixed into one modern Star Wars game. Another thing he lists is that you'll be able to go from planet to planet, not completely linear, but it's not going to be open world either. You get an area to explore trying to continue the narrative. So think about this. For those who have played Skyrim, think about this game of Skyrim only on the main quest, but whenever you go to a town for the main quest, you can go around, upgrade some weapons, upgrade your armor, etc. It's not going to be open world or linear. It's kind of going to be a mixture of the two. You'll be able to go to a planet, upgrade your items, find new items to upgrade, while continuing your narrative. He also lists that wall running and parkour was hinted at. From my knowledge, I don't know anything that can wall run on Star Wars, so I'm guessing it's going to be similar to parkouring, like Clone Wars, like Jedi are in the Clone Wars, they're extremely flexible and can jump to extremely high heights. The aesthetic will resemble Rogue One and Solo, while having some of the prequels flare. This is to be expected considering the game takes place after Order 66, so the prequels are still prominent within the Star Wars universe, and this game was probably in development around the time Rogue One was finished, so I can see them reusing some assets from the Rogue One. Now this is probably the biggest leak out there so far, that it was made in Unreal Engine 4, which makes games such as Gears of War, Kingdom of Hearts, Fortnite, and the Batman Arkham games, but this is the big one, that it's going to be single player only. Now honestly, I don't know how I feel about this, I like it, but at the same time, I don't because I don't know how long this game will be able to last. Like, look at the Spider-Man game. Like, hardcore Spider-Man players will still play it, but overall, the game kind of dies out once all the DLC comes out and once the story is complete. There isn't anything to continue the game afterwards. Like, Battlefront 2, you play the campaign and then you can play multiplayer for hours and still go from day to day playing the multiplayer. But I always thought this game was going to be single player only considering what the game revolves around. Like... I can't think of a multiplayer for this type of style, rather than dueling, but I don't think they're going to add that. It also shows EA's hypocrisy because they talked a couple months ago saying how that no one wants single player games, and I just find that ironic now. Anyway, the game will be much longer than 5 hours, which if it's going to be single player only definitely needs to be longer than 5 hours to keep that interest within the game. That it will be mostly an expansion of the Star Wars lore, though it will go back to known planets from time to time. So we're probably going to visit new planets or old planets from the Legends continuity like the leaked poster that could easily be the planet Renvar which was an old Jedi planet with an old Jedi temple in it that could easily be re-canonized for 
the game. It's supposed to have a huge opening with Inquisitors were teased for that opening, which I'm not surprised since Inquisitors seem like one of the only options you have for villains rather than Darth Vader. He then goes into the game will resemble Jedi Knight and Force Unleashed with a bit of Uncharted. But he says the only thing that relates to Force Unleashed is the way the camera is, so like third person style with you and a lightsaber. He said cool enemies confirmed. Again, I didn't think this was going to be true considering how he word certain topics. However, once he said the backpack companion droid and the poster was leaked with a backpack companion droid, I re-looked at it and thought I should probably tell you guys what this leak is, since I haven't really seen anyone make videos on it lately anyway. He also talked about the developers posting a gif of someone saying, hi gorgeous, I'm Jerome which is the actor from the Gotham TV show. He plays the Joker. And then he later posted another gif of the same character saying, you want to be a hero. Now, everyone thinks this actor is going to be the main protagonist for the video game. And to back that up, if you look at that actor's Instagram page on December last year, you can see him in motion capture dots. So everything kind of just comes together to kind of prove that this leak it may actually be true. And the final thing he lists is that the game may or may not have microtransactions, though the developer did say if it was, it wouldn't hinder your enjoyment if it had. So, microtransactions is a very complicated issue. Some games do it right. For example, the current state of Battlefront 2. If you want to buy the General Kenobi skin, you can buy the General Kenobi skin, no one's stopping you. Apex Legends, if you want to buy a skin for your weapon or character, do it, no, nothing stopping you. Fortnite, etc. Microtransactions that only affect your skin or your gun, like etc, like all that stuff, doesn't matter that much. But it's when you get to game changing things like Battlefront 2 at launch or the way Call of Duty does it, you know, those microtransactions are not good for your game. So if it's going to be just skins for your Jedi, I've already seen memes for it, like lightsaber colors, lightsaber customization, hilts, etc. I wouldn't mind that much. So yeah, anyway, I don't know how much views this video is going to get considering the episode 9 title and trailer just dropped, but hey, I thought I should make this video before tomorrow and let's just see how much of this leak is correct by tomorrow. And if it's all true, awesome. If it's all false, well screw this guy for misleading me. <laughs> Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, blast a like, drop a like, and all that good stuff. And I shall see you guys in the near future. Anyway, this is the First Order, signing out. Sector is clear. Not clear, not clear!